Good morning everyone, San Joaquin Valley Transparency. I seen this video early in the morning and I was just blown away. This is from a channel called 5150-50. She is an auditor, a cop watcher, a journalist. She's out there recording police and she does a fantastic job. You're gonna see some of the things that she does in this video that's really good. What I wanna point out about this guy is he goes to a fast food joint, he orders some food, whatnot. He comes out. I guess the cops were called on him. They said that he was saying some stuff like people need to die. And the cops got there and they just started asking him questions. As you guys are going to see, the guy is, he's extremely funny and he's coherent. To me, he seems sane. Not only does he seem sane, he seems absolutely brilliant. He seems smart. He knows what he's talking about. These guys don't like it. He compares the police to the English rock band, the police. He's just laughing at him and just not taking them serious. Well, you guys are going to see what happens at the end. I don't want to ruin it. I'm going to pause it every now and then to narrate a little bit, let you guys know what the, what I'm seeing in the video. Um, you guys leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think about this video. I think it's extremely educational. I want you guys also to go subscribe to the channel. The, the link will be in the description. Thank you guys for tuning in. This video is extremely important. Here it is. What'd you say? I'm a customer, so I'm not going to. I'm a customer, so what the fuck hey, is they doing? Here, yeah, uh, hey, police is the name of a business, uh, a rock band. Hey, Out of Europe. You're right, Sting. I know, I okay. ain't getting nothing wrong. <laughs> I just woke up, man, got, got me uh, some heat. Yeah. And now I'm trying to shoot. Why did they call on you? That's what I'm saying, broad daylight. I know I'm right. Are you suspicious or yeah, they I'm accusing you of a crime? I know they're fake. Okay. Yeah, you're these suspicious. are people who stole from me. Okay. Yeah, that's a federal offense. I got my own birth certificate. My mom and daddy watched over me. You know you don't have to ID unless they arrest you. But then too, I ain't even committed a crime. Exactly. You don't have to ID. I know that's a federal that's a federal fact. Well, Tennessee state law, if, they, if it's a stop and ID state, you have to, if, if they have reasonable articulable suspicion you committed a crime. In Tennessee, you only have to give name and date of birth verbally if you've been arrested for a crime. Uh-uh. This state stole from me as soon as I crossed the Mississippi River. And I know they lying. Blue started in Europe way before we was born. And that's French. I like the French. I like the French. <laughs> I think that's Officer Ferguson over there. Hi, Officer Ferguson. Isn't it Ferguson? How you doing? Good. He feels harassed here. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. But... What'd they call us initial? Suspicious? No, he was in there talking out of his head, talking about how people need to die. Oh, okay. Like that. So we're so so happy. Happy. Let's break down what the officer just said. He's talking out of his head. He said things like people need to die. But was the gentleman speaking of anybody specifically? He could be talking about population, you know. Um, he could be talking about consumption, human consumption of a product, uh, whether it's medicine or whether it's sugar or something that could be harmful to the human body. People need to die in order for other people to understand that it's bad, just like mushrooms. When the Europeans brought mushrooms on accident and people started eating mushrooms out of the grass, people needed to die in order for scientists and doctors to understand that. I can. Talking to the corner. This whole state, the whole state, horodology, yeah. entomology, okay. numerology, okay. gypsy, chemical. Are they going to trespass? That's all we see. Sure. We're sorting it out. I think we're. That's all we see. We're trying to see if we can't get them some mental health. No, brother, like, taking a jail or anything like that. I always know yeah. who I am because self-knowledge and self-wisdom was the name of my composition. That I am a There's nothing wrong with being different. Yeah. But those calls for concern. We've had several mass shootings in the last couple days and start talking about everyone needs to die. This is the part in the video that I find extremely bothersome. The woman tells him something beautiful. There's nothing wrong with being different. I totally love what she said. Now check out what the officer said. But, with all the mass shootings and everything going on. So, in other words, because of something that happened in the past with somebody else, we're going to go ahead and violate your rights today, sir. Because something happened somewhere. 
Whatever happened to the rule of not being able to be charged because of something that your family member did and something happened was not even related to this guy, something that somebody else did somewhere else and they're gonna use that to violate his rights. But it does cause for concern. We've had several mass shootings the last couple of days and you start talking about everyone needs to die. Yeah. You don't understand. Well, somebody eating lunch might be concerned about that. Yeah, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Bite. I'm devastated I'm over what happened yeah. yesterday. I'm right out the end of this. I'm the only person that keeps my business myself clean. Stop. Yeah, that's why we're trying. I think we're trying to see whether or not what our options are here. Yeah. Ask the orientation questions. Yeah. You know your name, where you are, who the president is, what the date is, yeah. and if you have that together, there's no, you have no right to, you know, do a 5150 on them like that. Outstanding work. What she just said, outstanding. Awesome. I was wondering why y'all came in mass. Is that because of the shooting yesterday? Yeah, well, because of that. One of the individuals in there was like exercising his Second Amendment rights. <laughs> gotcha. That's how hey, we, he's in Tennessee. It's like being in Texas. Got a valid permit. There you go. So somebody, you know, you're eating your lunch and somebody starts talking that are out there. Yeah. Especially when we start making general threats about Tennessee, everyone needs to die, things yeah. like that. And the uh, other citizen in there who was lawfully exercising his Second Amendment rights. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't take too kindly to the threats and aware of everything that's been happening, decided yeah. to, like I said, exercise Second Amendment rights and we're trying to sort out everything. But, well, God bless America. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I really don't know how else to put this other than I think we've become a nation of pussies. The cops don't want you to have guns. They're, everything is, is, is gun laws and, and take away your guns. But they don't, I mean, the guy inside called and he had a firearm. <laughs> he was carrying what he... He wanted to call other armed men to come in and see about this guy. What a pussy. Um, I'm sorry to say it, but what a giant pussy. All right, Constitution. That's that's what we sent, came here in numbers. When yeah. There's, when there's guns involved. Yeah. Whether or not they're lawful or not, we... Y'all stole from me. I gotta say, y'all, y'all's body language is so non-threatening, and it keeps it from escalating. Yeah, so I appreciate that, because this guy, like yeah. almost anyone, when you're already upset and then you're being confronted by people that want to take your freedom, then it's going to escalate the adrenaline and make somebody who might, you know, be touching you that much more farther. Got their freedom to be temporarily taken away. It's right. not going to approach aggressively with that. You know, it's, yeah. It's, it's a delicate situation. And it needs to be treated right. I'm always in tune with y'all's body language and y'all. Oh no. But he started talking to me. Yeah. I wasn't. So, but I'm going to go in and buy something anyway. But <laughs> so I talked to him and it seemed to right. make his focus go on a conversation with me instead right. of confronting y'all. Or I wouldn't have engaged in any conversation yeah. at all. Right. Yeah. But he was cool with me. No, you can't help me help yourself. I'm tired of playing with y'all. Y'all stole from me. You know, oh, no, 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 no. Because government is fake. It's false. Her name is Cynthia McKinney. I came to this state to find out government was fake. Thank you, the cook's a lot, babe. And this is one of those moments that I really, really, really love and appreciate what he says when the officers ask him, where do you stay at? He basically looks at the officer and says, I don't stay with y'all. Where do you know where you stay at? It don't matter where I stay at. I'm, I, don't, I don't stay with y'all. No, I was going to make sure you have a Y'all stole my blueprints. I just want to make sure you have a Where I had you my own house. I look uh, super welded, man. So I can build my own house. No, I only have somewhere to go. It's called using my brain. I don't know. I don't need no volunteer help from Tennessee. Y'all are <laughs> habitual, habitual pathological liars. Damn. I do not need 
volunteer help from the state. You are habitual pathological liars. Outstanding. I don't know. No, I don't need no volunteer help from Tennessee. Y'all are habitual, habitual pathological liars. Damn. Those words he just said completely left everyone standing around in a stupor. Hey, sir. You know I'm not one of them, okay? I'm gonna explain something to you. They are worried about your mental health. Just no, give it. Just no, give me no. a minute. My, my but you can you can refuse it. You can refuse it. Review, evaluate, analyze, decide. That's for psychology. I, I that's for psychology. Psychology. See, that's the Eastern Hemisphere. Psychology. That's, that's the Western Hemisphere. That's, that's two him. That's two him. He's detained. Yeah, he can't leave until we can get. Yeah. Here I woke up by myself. I came out. Leotis Marie Jordan. Gotcha. She was a registered nurse. Me. That's my mama who taught me how to read. Smart phones don't make smart people. I'm, I'm not telling you to leave. I'm yeah. just saying if you can just take a couple bags just so we can have an easier time. I paid for everything I got. I don't need their help. Just because you got a gun, no, I ain't scared of you. False evidence is pretty real. I stand up for myself. I came 37 years and didn't have to carry no gun. Quit walking up on me. This is that part that I hate, guys. No, uh, y'all stole from me these 12 years. Oh, they're good. They're, they shouldn't be going up on them like that. <laughs> no, you didn't. There was no reason for that. Yeah, but why y'all why y'all up on me disrespecting me? Yeah, I ain't I ain't cause no crime. Nope. It's okay. You got okay. okay. Yeah, but well, I shouldn't have to be detained as a free man. This is not right. My declaration of human rights. Until we figure things out, okay, sir? There's nothing to figure God. out. That was in the title of the song I wrote. I wrote that song. As an independent thinker. That disrespected me for no apparent reason. Transparency is number one priority. Declaration of Human Rights was before I was born. And I know, I know my rights. I only got one brain for my own human liberty. Liberty is before freedom. I'm not letting go of my phone. They, hey, the handcuffs are too tight. Yeah, but y'all hurt my hand. I'm hey, I was at ease. Yeah, but hey, I, I was already relaxed. I haven't even washed my face, brush my teeth. This is the We're first day of the week. Hey, hey Alexander, you ain't got no meals or nothing on you. No, I do not do no pills. Okay. I don't do everything. Oh, yeah. Alexander, all the stuff in your pockets when you put in your bag, okay? I ain't did nothing wrong. I know I have a self-knowledge and self-wisdom. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm not, I'm not, because I ain't caused no problem with nobody. I don't have to ask nobody for nothing. Knowing how to read. 45% of this continent don't know how to read. Don't take that. Yeah, just so that. Can I keep my liberty? And yes, I can. It's all about trying to help you. You, can't, you don't have to help me. I help myself. I walked up here through my own ability. Here's the thing, okay? I cannot, I cannot loosen the cuffs. I know they lie. I know they lie. Broad daylight. Searching. What gives you the right to search them?
I just got a dollar from a, you know, I just got a dollar from a guy. No, it's not about y'all. I'm going to leave with my city. Okay, we got to get you off, okay? I stick with you using my brain. What they're about to do to him right now uh, kind of makes me angry and sad at the same time. Take a look. I've been trying to work on this video for a few days now. Um, I get a little emotional when I watch this. I get angry and just saddens me to see how they're treating him. Keep watching. But they went in while I was in there and got him a glass of water, ice water, which was nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, um, they said I could get him something to eat or drink. But he was saying people in Tennessee needed to die. They were concerned because uh, they said they almost had a stabbing here last night. So, anyway, they're not actually trespassing him per se. So what I would like for you guys to do is go watch the rest of the video on her channel. I will put the link in the description like I always do. This is such a good video. I want to commend 515050 her channel for being there recording this video you're going to see the social worker here doing his evaluation you're going to hear what the man has to say like i said at the beginning of the video i do not believe this man's crazy i don't think it's right what they did to him it saddens me because i see what's going on in our country and this could happen to you this is going to happen to your children and grandchildren if we don't stop what's going on now if we don't demand that they are not able to violate our freedoms thank you guys for watching go finish watching the video on her channel let her know i sent you guys thank you guys see you soon